Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Factorio Space Age. Oh, in our last episode, we got Gleba back and running again, and I just now uh, dropped a couple nice little things. I'd like to improve our production of science here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make... Let's see, these are currently adding 100 speed times 1.5, so they're adding 150 speed. If we were to only have one module in one epic, that's adding 95. Is that right? Yeah, that's that alone is better. And then I can add in an efficiency module. And not only that, but this is only adding 70% energy consumption, whereas having two of these was adding 140. So we're decreasing the additional energy consumption as well as decreasing energy consumption, which is great. Uh, that being said, I will also affect the egg makers the same way, and that will mean they burn fewer nutrients. Though that's not the main cost. The main cost is just 30 nutrients per egg. So bah. let's start with the prods here. I also could prod the silos better. I guess there's a lot of things here. I maybe didn't bring enough prod modules. So this is gonna be 24. And then this is gonna be 16. And that's 40, that leaves me with 10 more. And I have only enough for two each. But that'll save me some rocket parts too, I guess. Okay, and then we've got the epic beacons, which just makes the beacon effect stronger. That's so two in a 2.1 of what's inside of it instead of 1.5. And then we're gonna change each of these to this configuration. And then we're gonna copy that. And that is a stronger effect while also saving power. So this will save me power. Not only will it save me power, but it'll save me power. Uh, epic beacons only have a drain. I mean, just everything gets better when you do things like this. Uh, epic beacons only have a drain of 240. So they only use half as much power to run on top of transmitting things more powerfully. Um, I must have done the wrong efficiency module. I swear I did efficiency module three, but clearly I did the wrong. Yeah, I didn't do that right. I don't know what I did. But it wasn't that. Alright. Fix. 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 There we go. Boom. Okay, so the effect that should have is a lot more pentapod eggs, which is currently the hang up on science. I guess this is kind of hang Do I have any more? I have two more. Ah, I just put it in. Um, I can get a little bit more nutrient rod here from the bioflux. But I'm not making enough bioflux. Part of the issue. Um, how can I do that better? I guess we can prod those. I need more prod ones. Well, I will drop to Novus and the Synthus, which now has some more epic prods, can go back to Gleba and drop some more prod models. And then we'll, we'll make these a little better at making Bioflux. Because the mesh is currently the issue, which I can also add more prod to. Okay, we can upgrade a couple things there. And I guess I already have the ability to upgrade this quite a bit more by just doing like this. Yeah, and then that should be hopefully more than it was making before. That's gotta be more, right? Uh, 43.7. I don't know what it was before. Mash. 
Yeah, it looks like we were holding steady at 2.6 to 2.7k. And now this is more like 3 to 3.1k. Nice. Hey, thanks for the follow, Alara Fuzzy. Welcome, welcome. So that's more mash. More mash means more flux. And then I also want this here. These here. Hopefully I have enough for all that. No, I'm short three epic beacons. Okay, um... Maybe I don't need epics for the regular. Because that's really only saving me some power, and it's making them go slightly faster, which I don't think I need it anyway. Uh, so let's do it that way. And then the Synthus is already back. Send down. Can I put these one at a time? You really can't, can you? 50 or nothing, huh? Alright, so then... Back to the glaives. Grab... Epics of these. And that takes us from 74% productivity to... What? 126? Wow, that's a lot. That's a big boost. Oh, 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 what am I doing here? We can get stacky stack as well. Okay, so now we have not enough jelly, which can be improvified. Like so. And like so. This needs to be a stack inserter. It's still going to be too slow, unfortunately, but it'll be a little faster. Okay, so some minor adjustments to things using better modules here. And that allows for some better production. We should see agricultural science is at a faster rate than it ever has been before. Kind of hard to tell because it was fluctuating between 160 and 240. Oh, yeah, it's definitely better. Now we're going up to 436 and down to 280. Okay, yeah, certainly faster on the agri science now. Cool, cool, cool. And the Glabian Nightmare is doing what? What are you waiting for? We have the required 400 seconds because ammo was slow. Feeling like that's maybe a little too much. It was for buffers to fill up. Hmm. You know, I could make this a stack inserter. I'm gonna change that to like 300 seconds. Make it go a little faster, back and forth. Okay, so all that being done, do we actually have any science? Uh, I don't know why I'm walking here on my own two legs, or at least on the mech armor's own two legs. We do. Oh, we are we are researching right now. I didn't even think to look. <laughs> yes. Okay. Sweet. The only thing we don't have is Promethean packs. We've got a, we've almost got them all. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Sweet. All right, things are running. We're doing it. We're doing it. Legendary quality's almost here. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what we should make legendary, but we can. I mean, the obvious answer is legendary mech armor, right? But that's such a pain in the butt. Because for mech armor, you need, what again? I think you need superconductors. 
Yeah, and super capacitors and homium plates. So it's some serious, some serious rolling of legendary on Fulgora. All right. Um, <sighs> I guess we need to look at the tech tree too. What all's in here? So railgun, shooting speed and damage. Promethium science packs come after fusion reactors. We don't need foundations. I do need these quantum processors though. We'll do that and then we'll do rail guns. Oh, by the way, they patched it so you can drag these now. Um, oh, that's a requirement for those. That's why they can't be dragged in front. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Legendary mech armor is really cool, though. Yeah, I mean, it's it's insane. Because it'll be... F no. Not 14 by 16. It'll be 17 by... I don't have to wonder. It's 17 by... Yeah, 15. Which is just absurd. I mean, we're talking like... That's almost like 100 more tiles. On top of what I already have. Which is more than enough. I already have what I would consider more than enough. Uh, walls, I think, can take some asteroids. I don't know how much. Asteroid punishment. But some. Alright, Glabian Nightmare is on its way back. Man, I could really improve this thing with, like, a single beacon right here. <laughs> it could speed up all four of these, like, all, by a lot. And then I could put a single stack inserter for these, and now all the iron ore is stacked, which lets iron ore buffer four times as much. Ah, breaking already. Okay, good to know. What happened? What did I do? Oh, that's a new pro- Okay, this is a new problem. This is not a problem I had before. So it's unrelated to why the base broke before. Um, I get it now, though. Uh, I guess what we can do is this... And then we can have two stack inserters, one filtered to spoilage, one filtered to uh, bioflux. Okay, yeah, this is only an issue because I put... Ugh, I wasn't being careful when I put uh, stack inserters here. Okay. Gosh, I was going to say, I'm like, we literally just revamped production of that. How is that already breaking? Hey, our alarm helped. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, kids, if you're if you're at home, make sure you put an alarm on your nutrient belt. Cuz it will save you some some pain later. Next problems before they become an issue. All right, now I am curious what's going on here. The jellies now stopped? Cuz the seeds are backed up. Because again, I'm like, oh man, I really need to be careful using stack inserters. Um, I can't use a stack inserter there, I just can't. Because it's taking out two different things. And potentially spoilage, which I hadn't even thought of. So yeah, definitely don't use stack inserters unless you're double, triple, quadruple sure. Where else did I use stack inserters that I might have broken something? Um, this one's fine because they're filtered. Uh, didn't I put them somewhere else recently? Like, just now? I don't remember where I put them. Mash is filtered, so that's fine. Was it on the egg? No. Maybe that was the only place I put them.
spoilage is blacklisted? What? Did I have it backwards somewhere? Oh, you mean for the... Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, you're just saying spoilage wasn't a problem on this one in particular. Yeah, I just would need seeds. I guess I could have moved the seed extractor to be on this instead, and then we could just have a jelly only. Uh, that would work too, but whatever, it's fine. Um, we'll just turn it back to the old system that never broke. That system was fine. I guess now there's the question of do we have enough... Do we have enough Yamato? Because we just increased the consumption rate, didn't we? Um... Yamako... Consumption was pretty steady at about 10 a second. So I might want to reduce, I'm gonna take out, yeah, I'll take out a speed module there and that gets me back closer to that 10 a second uh, to make sure the agriculture tower's like pointing over to them like you can see where they are in my room. Uh, so the agriculture towers can keep up over there. Oh, and I never put in the new prod modules. What am I doing? What am I doing? That was like the whole point of what I was trying to do. There we go. That's why we weren't getting more mash. Okay, so that should result in a lot more mash now than we were making before. Okay, I think we're fine now. I think that's all good. Um, Glabian Nightmare. Has two out of three thousand, so we're almost good there. Bioflux is really low. Why is Bioflux so low? Um, we should be making a crap ton of it now, but we're not. The jelly output rate on this is what's lacking. Um, okay, we need to we need to grow up and be smart. Okay, we're gonna do that. Do we have a seed burning situation going on? I believe I do. Like book burning, but more agricultural. All right, and now we're just gonna say whatever all this is, is done. Uh, we're blacklisting seeds and that. That's gonna be a, a stack. And we're just gonna do this and this. Okay, there we go. Now we can actually get all that jelly onto a bell. And I guess this... Oh, it has a stack size of two. That's the problem. There we go. Okay. Okay, now the bioflux is actually building up. Okay, now mash is the issue. Wow, look at that product's finished. I don't know if I've ever seen anything above a million before. 1.563 million products finished. It's nuts. Um, I mean, Bioflux production has to be higher than it's ever been before, right? Yeah, we capped out at 884. Right now I'm making double that. Okay, yeah, we're fine. I, I can... It'll, it'll take a minute for everything to catch up, but we're fine. We're making more bioflux than we've ever made in our sorry little lives. All right, you just trigger going back to Navis at this point. And then Navis is gonna request some rocket turrets so that we can have automatic biter capturing going on. We don't need many. 
And then I could just make rocket turrets here too, right? Or are those exclusive? Open all the windows, apparently. Uh, these can be made anywhere. Okay. I think I just looked that up, actually. And the synthus, which... Am I on the synth? Where am I? <laughs> Who am I? I'm actually feet on ground. Okay, I'm on Nalvis right now. Um, I think it's kind of fun that it almost doesn't matter. I do, I do like the remote view world that we've got going on now. So I had brought the Synthus back, I think because I wanted to drop some more prod modules in the beacons. Did I need to drop anything else while I'm here? I don't think so. So, so the Synthus can go back, since it's already at Glaiba, we'll go back to Aquilo to go pick up some science. And why don't we pick up 6,000 because we can. Because Aquilo is still running, I think. We can set up nuclear fuel reprocessing if we want, but is that even going to be necessary? Because these things are the full 1,000 degrees. It's just a question of, does that spread this way fast enough? I think it, it, it does. Yeah, these are staying stable at 763. And I don't turn them on until we get down to 650, so. Yeah. So power's fine. Everything seems stopped up here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. I feel like we are, we are getting ever closer to victory. And I have a very loose goal. It's not its not a for sure goal, but I would like to achieve victory before Path of Exile 2 so then I can play right on launch. It's fine if I don't. I'm not like, I am excited to play the game, but I'm not like, oh my God, I have to play the minute it comes out. Um, see, that's the problem, Dave, is I'm not even sure if I care to make that many legendary modules, but I really should. Let's go with legendary speed. That feels like the most factorio of them all so we'll we'll do legendary speed modules i guess it'll just happen i don't this setup is already built for it um and i will never recycle them because there's no need to oh yeah that's true Alor, but i'm not gonna wait that long <laughs> i mean i'm talking like if I'm not playing on December 6th, it's going to be within a couple days of that. So um, I'm definitely going to try. It, it just looks I would be surprised if it wasn't in a very playable state already. And given what they've shown off, it looks to be quite good. And given they delayed it, as much as that sucks for people who were really excited for the original release date of early access, I do think it's because they actually want it to be really fun and playable and great and lots of content on launch. Um, so it does it does seem like it's going to go pretty well. I'm I'm always a bit hesitant with games these days, but the way that they talk gives me some amount of confidence that things are going to be pretty good on launch and not absolute garbage heap dumpster fire. We'll see. Those of you who are watching this episode in the future are like, ha ha ha, we already know that Path of Exile 2 was the worst game ever to launch. Um, no, but I don't I don't think that'll actually happen. Um, yeah, the servers might break on day one, that's for sure. Have I ever played PoE 1? No, that's why I'm excited. I've, I've thought about it a few times, and I've, in those moments, I've been like, I don't have enough uh, desire to get a new college degree to want to play Path of Exile 1 right now. And I think ever since Path of Exile 2 was announced, I was kind of excited to get in on the ground floor because I think they're going to do a lot. They're going to do a lot of steps to make the game more friendly to first time players. Like it's not it does seem pretty complicated out of the gate, which I don't mind. It's just that there's not 10 years of like feature bloat that gets layered on top, right? It's like there's some amount of resetting back to like, here are the fundamentals that we want to start the game with. It still seems pretty complicated, but I do, I like that uh, element. But uh, yeah, we're just waiting here for those wondering why I'm not talking about Factorio. We're just waiting for our Fulgoran science, or Aquilin, Aqu Aquilin, Aquilin, Aquilin? 
Aquiloan? Aquiloan science? I don't actually know. Um, <laughs> but we're waiting for that. Wait, why is it taking forever? Oh my gosh, these bots are so bad. It's truly the bots. Just are absolute garbage terrible at this. Um, so I, I actually should redo this to be a belt-based setup. I didn't think the bots would be this bad. Somebody, somebody in the last episode, or I guess it was like two episodes ago now, was like, ah, just use bots, they'll be fine. Whoever said that, I think you were kind of wrong. <laughs> if I had like, if I had rare bots or better, it might be fine. Um, oh, this one's not on automatic requests either. That's part of the problem too. Okay, sorry. I do apologize to the bots. I was only giving you half the credit. Um, but bots are pretty bad. But I guess that wasn't the issue, was it? Because they are... F well, no, it kind of is. Because they... The ones that are holding the science have to go to charge before they can finish... Yeah. Yeah, we really needed to establish a, a playset. A playset? This is not Magic the Gathering. But that's the word my brain wanted to use. A playset of uncommon uh, <laughs> uh, logistics bots. Because um, even uncommons would have been a lot better. But yeah, this is, this is too much of a problem. And obviously having uncommon ports would be nice too. So why don't I set that up since I'm just sitting here with nothing better to do. Um, let's see... I do still prefer walking around to remote view. Hey! Legendary qualities researched. So any minute we will get our first legendary item. Just from happenstance, I imagine. Alright, so these guys are making frames. These guys are making engines. I could productify... These last four and then ditch the other four. I think that's the way I'm gonna do it. And then we go with much, much more effective speed modules here. And much more effective prod modules. Of course, I don't have anything in my inventory. And these. Ooh. You can't grab the ghost of the item that is going to replace the item that currently has the X on it. Alright, so then that will be more productive, more productive. Uh, what else do bots cost? Just red and green circuits, which are like super free at this point in the game. The question is where are they coming from? And are they coming from the more productive sources or not so much? And the answer to that is not so much. So what I'd like to do is bring... The super great green circuits over. The problem is they're all the way over here, and I need to get them all the way over there. Um, so let's do like this, and have a secondary bus backflow here. Come up to here. Wait, what? Uh oh, I lost track of. Oh, that was an underground. Okay. Wait, why are there reds on this belt? What did I do? Oh dear. Uh oh. oh okay, that's fine. Um, I mean, it's actually convenient how that works out, because then I can just replace this entire thing here. The reds are on the right and greens are on the left, which is ironically going to mess things up. What is this doing? What? That's making speed ones? That's not necessary, is it? No, 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 no. I'm making speed ones up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, no, no. This, this can go. This can go burn in a fire. Okay. Um, and then I'll just clear off that belt just in case. 
And then the greens need to be on this, and they're side loaded, so we should be fine. Okay. Um, so I do this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so now we've got green circuits going into this region, and that makes them a lot cheaper. Cool. All right, now we need better assemblers. Railgun researched, oh yeah. Uh, and then we really need better quality modules. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it here. Um, we're gonna go max, max rolling for that. And then, we're gonna let that fill up. We're gonna let that fill up to there. And I'm gonna say nothing underneath, um, rare. So that means we need recyclers. Uh, this is tricky. Where are the recyclers? They keep moving. There they are. I'm guessing these recycle really fast because they craft really fast. So then we need a requester that grabs logistic bot regular, construction bot regular, logistic bot uncommon, construction bot uncommon, and it dumps those straight into the, the dumper, but we quality upgrade that. And then we need crafters of higher qualities. Ugh, this is where things get really messy, isn't it? Um, so now we need like an uncommon and a rare, and maybe even an epic for each. This is why you make something like the Grand Gambler, you know? Or the, what did I call it? The Gambletron? I've called it two different things. Um, wait, what? Oh, right. I, I actually really, I think I mentioned this in a previous episode. This is definitely a feature I would love to see them add, is when you go to select a recipe, it doesn't forget everything. It's not even on the right page anymore. Um, I, I don't totally know why that is. A lot of other things kind of start with the same thing already selected. But here, you really got to start from scratch every time. Uh, okay, so we do that. And then... Construction bot. Construction bot. Construction bot. And I am just using the bot network for this, even though it's, whoa. So like in this case, we don't really need the robot frames for other things, but see, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, this is problematic. Eh. Okay, hold on. Um. I think I'll just request one set. That. Um, the reason I can't, it would be fine if they didn't both share the robot frames. The fact that they both share the robot frames makes it problematic to to do that. And then we need to copy just the read ingredients part. Uh, I don't know if we have something legendary. Let's find out. Yay! We have four legendary beacons. We also just got an achievement for producing green chips. And we have our first legendary electronic circuit somewhere. 
in this chest. Oh, well, and I just whisked it away to some other chest. Where are you now? It got taken to a different place. Okay. We'll go grab it. And we will enshrineify it. It's our first... Our first legendary product. You can put it by the rocket silos. Let's see, color. Orange. Always on. Ta da! Beautiful. And maybe some reinforced color. There's our little, our little shrine. Legendaries! Honestly though, like, yeah, legendaries are so interesting because it's like the, the cost is even higher, but the reward is two steps above what, you know, the other things have been doing. So it's a pretty significant bump. Um, now, these should be starting to fill with rares. I guess I want these to stop running if we have enough rares. Is that what we want to measure? Again, I'm really wishing we had a any quality mixed with a symbol. You know, like like I want any quality greater than rare of this bot to be greater than 50. Um, I'm really wishing we could do that, but we can't. So I will just settle for construction or is this the logistics bot one i don't remember which one we have selected i think it was this one logistics bot given that we're recycling everything under than rare we'll just go with rare as long as it's less than 200 rares we'll keep going and you're the same thing see this is what i would expect for recipes where it like goes to the same page and at least has the the thing in the quality pre-selected but it's not like filtered down or anything um because that's nice okay so those are going those are rolling these are now enabled And these need quality modules. And this is the reason why you would want to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Why you'd want to have it controlled by circuits is you don't need as many epic quality or legendary quality modules if all of these are just one building sharing the load. That helps. Okay, so this will recycle the ingredients if we have them. These are just gonna sit here and be provided. So this would go forever if the ingredients showed up forever, but the ingredients of those will stop showing up when we stop recycling bots and we'll stop recycling bots when we stop making bots of the original type, the common type, and we'll stop making the common type when we have enough rares. Okay, so that should work. It'll run, it'll keep going. Eventually it'll stop. That's all what we want. Um, now these are actually going slower than I expected, but that's not the issue. The batteries are the issue. Okay, so batteries, I could use cryogenic plants, or we could just say screw it and put better modules and everything. And I think I'm going to go with that method, <laughs> in case that wasn't clear. Um... And we'll bulkify these because why not? Okay, I actually want that to be faster still. Uh, where's my epics here? Epic speed modules are great. Do we have any legendaries yet? Speed module. Uh, it doesn't seem like we do. 
But they are getting rolled, right? Yep, we're rolling. No legendary pieces yet? Oh no, we do have a few legendary pieces. Um, just not enough to make make a whole one yet. Yeah, I mean, what are the odds we actually roll a legendary um, module from scratch at 23.5%? Basically, a tenth of that carries on to the rest. That's, but then it eventually becomes 0.1, so it's like one one thousandth of this. Is that right? Uncommon is most of this. Rare is like nine it's almost a tenth then it's almost a hundred then it is exactly a thousand yeah one one thousandth of this percent so it's like one out of five roughly one out of four so it's basically one out of four thousand so we'll start out as legendary yeah that's not a super high chance is it <laughs> all right so that should be oh yeah that's enough batteries now okay we have enough batteries wow these are Crafting speed of 10 is still not enough. That's crazy. You don't see that very often. Robot frames are slow. You know, you're right. This could be this could be my opportunity to use legendary beacons, which I know I have some of. I have t t two left after what I just placed, I guess. And they're going to have an efficiency of what? 2.9? No, 2.7. No, 2.5. Wait, did I? Hey, legendary quality module three. It's the first one we got. Um. Oh my gosh, they're so expensive. I can't even. Epics are already so expensive and legendaries are just more expensive. But it is true that the legendaries will pay off eventually by increasing the Gambletron's probabilities to, to, you know, land me legendaries. Oh, and these aren't set up for legendaries, are they? Wonderful. Yeah. I created the Gambletron before legendary existed, so now they're just gonna start clogging things up, aren't they? Wonderful. And we're also at the point now... In fact, we already reached the point. I, I should have been paying attention to this. Um, with these... Like, if my goal... Like, these should have some of these in here. Oh, I can't. That's why I didn't do it. Okay, I, I did think about this. Um, but if I was making something like, let's say, red circuits here, I actually would want some amount of productivity modules in here. Um, the amount of productivity modules differs based on what quality you're at. If you're dealing with epics, I think you want, like, two or three of the five to be prod. And that's for everything that isn't your final step. Because you end up making so many more to be recycled, that actually is worth, that'll get you more of the higher quality bits than making higher quality products. It's, it's weird, uh, but that's how it works. Anyway, why is this not running? Oh, biter eggs aren't running. Yeah, uh, that sort of makes sense. No, it totally makes sense because I haven't recaptured the biters. Uh, let's work on that. So rocket turrets. There's so many little things. Rocket turrets. Um, it would be nice if I could place this in such a way where I could hit like all the nests. I don't think that's quite... Well, depends on if you need to overlap just some of it or the center of it. Because this is overlapping some of every net. It's really hard to see over the logistics network. But I think that one right there is pretty good and then we'll request uh and we'll do power over here and then we'll request capture robot rocket all right we'll try that we'll try that all right and then bots should be building up Ooh, a legendary. Did I tell you the, the story of the legendary logistics robot who had a maximum operational time of a minute and 36 seconds and could fly over a kilometer in one charge? 
the, uh, the minimum operational time is is only 16 seconds that's how because the faster they fly the more they use up juice like it is a miles per gallon type situation not a miles per or gallons per minute situation so they end up sucking a lot of juice when you keep upgrading the robot speed that is what's happening how do i oh i guess i probably have more than 25 it's just some of them are yeah i have 64 okay 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 cool 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 so why don't I load into the Synthus um, some bots? Construction bot. Rare. Let's go with 100. And logistic robot rare. 100. And I'll also request logistic robot epic. Yeah. Uh, Rayclaw, the point is that they can fly further before they need to go charge, which on most planets is a fairly minor bonus. It is a bonus because, um, you know, let's say you're a bot flying from point A right here. Uh, point A. Ah, how do you copy this again? There, to point B. If, if you can only fly a few meters before you have to charge, then you have to stop here and be like, oh, wait, I'm at 20% power. I gotta go charge before I run out of juice. You charge here and then you fly over. And that that's a deviation in your path that meant you spent more time flying than you needed to than if you can just go in a straight line. So obviously having a bigger battery means you can fly in a straight line all the way to where you're going and then you're done and then you go charge now you haven't wasted any any time the the problem is that on aquilo or not the problem but furthermore on aquilo bots use power five times faster so they run out of charge like immediately uh without having a bigger battery and better quality bots have bigger batteries um yes that is true crazy mage uh you do end up having the issue of robo ports not charging very fast um but that still is technically like that makes bot throughput lower in total since they spend more time charging at robo ports but it's gonna prevent the issue we're having right now where they can't even fly to here drop off the pack and then fly home without getting in trouble so it will be nice to have better better bots here to provide stuff. But yeah, fusion reactors finished. Now what? I guess we'll just keep researching all of the all of the things we've unlocked. So why don't I do? I can make my own biter egg spawners now. I would just have to bring fluoro ketones in barrels, and then the rest is easy. Um, I could do my own portable fusion reactors, but we'll we'll start researching the Prometheum science pack. Oh boy. So we're going to need Prometheum chunks, quantum processors and biter eggs. And that's only crafted in space. So we gonna send up fresh biter eggs and then you're immediately on a 30 minute timer to make the packs. Interesting. We'll uh we'll figure out that in a minute. First I wanna make quality robo ports. And we're just gonna make them the boring way that we've already been doing, which is not as efficient. Uh parameterize that to robo port. Delete that, replace it. Boom shakalaka. And we'll just do that. That'll get us some uncommons. Quality. Do I have any legendaries yet? Oh right. Yeah, my my Gambletron for quality modules is all janked. Because it's it's only outputting epics so we actually have some legendaries but they're stuck in this chest there's two 
Okay, we have two legendaries so far. Yeah, the Robo Port's charging speed. This is a weird one. It's also, um, I bet a lot of people presume that if you have rare Robo Ports with rare robots, everything works the same. But if you look at the numbers, it doesn't, because these are only doing the 30% boost, whereas the, the bots are doing a 100% boost for their battery. So that means even a rare bot spends way more time charging than a non-rare bot, even if you have rare robo ports. If you don't have rare robo ports, it's even worse. Uh, but that's the point. Uh, no, Waskly, I'm not. That That's what I was saying. This is just the simple way where I just waste a lot more resources, but I don't have to deal with adding more assemblers to make the higher quality pieces from the higher quality parts. It's just easy. It hurts, but it has worked like a champ for all this stuff. I mean, look at all this stuff that I've wanted higher quality. Like, it's been so simple to do it this way, and it's certainly wasteful, but if all you need is, like, uncommons or a couple rares, I think this is actually a pretty good solution. If your goal is to make, like, a lot of epics, this is not a good solution. But for uncommons, I think it's fine when you've got a 20% chance to get an uncommon or better. That just means each one costs you five times as much, and you're recycling... It's really not even five times as much because you're recycling the four that weren't uncommon, which gives you back ingredients for one. So it's really only costing you four times as much. That's not that bad. When when it's such a small cost overall, it's not that bad. Um, anyways. We need uncommon robo ports requested. And rare robo ports requested. Oh, by the way, uh, someone noticed this and pointed it out on the Discord channel. Does anyone spot the issue? <laughs> I cannot believe I did this again. I was so mad when I, I was like, oh my god, are you effing serious? Like, how many times am I going to do this where I think I can just make a quality build faster with a beacon? It's just so ingrained into my factorio blood that you can just beacon something to make it faster and it's never going to have a downside apart from, like, the power cost, whatever. Um, just the fact that like speed has a negative effect but only on quality it's just not settled into my brain yet so that's that's really really funny and yes alor there are certain examples especially when you're dealing with a legendary beacon with legendary speed modules where it might actually be worth it um because a couple points on this quality well i guess the beacon so two things. Thing one is that better speed modules do not have um, a bigger quality hit. So you're getting a pretty massive boost, right? 125% for only losing 2.5% quality. Now, it is true that a better beacon will transmit more of that negative quality-ness but it also transmits more of the speed. So that's kind of a ratio thing, depending on the exact numbers you want. You might want to use an epic or a rare or a legendary beacon. It depends. Um, you know, you might want to use like two of the legendary speed threes, but you don't want the full um, negative 10 point whatever percent, 12 and a half, negative 12 and a half percent that you'd get. Maybe you only want like negative 10% quality, so then you use like a rare. Um, Aylor, I think it makes more sense the other way. You want you want a, a legendary speed module and a rare beacon. That'll leave you with more quality chance. Because the quality chance to speed ratio only gets better with a better module, not a better beacon. 
the beacon transmits more of the negative quality and more of the speed. So you'd be better off upgrading the module higher and the beacon lower. Oh, well, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair, yes. If you don't have the thing, you don't have the thing. But yeah, so that is an interesting take. And, and the person on Discord was actually saying like, at first they were saying it was more inefficient, but I did the math and even with this thing that I'd had here, I was getting the uncommons twice as fast. They were just costing me twice as much because I was basically getting them 10% of the time instead of 20% of the time. But they were being crafted four times faster. And that was a non-optimal setup. So there's certainly, if you if you don't care about the cost, you can make higher quality products faster in a beaconed build. You just want to be really intentional and careful about it. Um, okay. Oh, we do, we do. Okay, cool. But we got the rares. All right, send this back to Aquilo. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, by the way, how do I win? Don't tell me. I'm not actually asking. This is me searching. Um, like, I, I think you just, I think, I think you just fly to the solar system edge. Yeah, the end, or rather, a new beginning. Building a space platform capable of surviving this far beyond the relative safety of the crash landing site proves your capability to travel anywhere else in the great depths of interstellar space beyond. For a space platform to survive this trip, it would need to be particularly self-sufficient and have the tools needed to turn the large, dangerous asteroids along the way into usable resources. AKA railguns. Um, <laughs> so I think what we'll do, the general plan, is we're gonna take the synthus and we're gonna double it. Like, I'm basically gonna take this blueprint, I'm gonna copy two of them next to each other and kind of, you know, remove this bit down the middle. So we'll have the weapons around the outside. And obviously we'll need to adapt kind of the front to have a bunch of rail guns and we'll need to add in railgun uh, ammo production. But I'll probably keep some of the asteroid processing the way it is because it's working relatively well. I might look to get maybe I need to upgrade quality on anything. I do already kind of have the high quality stuff. I might go with higher quality chem plants. Maybe. And I might stick with nuclear. We'll see if it's good enough. I don't know. I do want to make fusion, but I don't know if I need fusion on the, on the platform. But, but we shall we shall see how that works. Okay, so then for now, we're drawing near to the end of the episode. Let's have our next goal be fusion power. How do we build these things? And can we build them anywhere? Uh, no, we have to build these on Aquilo, and we need tungsten plates and superconductors. Okay. So the Synthus needs to request a bunch of tungsten plates. Mm. I don't know. Ugh. You can't scroll this window while this window's open. Uh, tungsten plates, maybe a thousand? Twenty stacks? Yeah, we should be able to fit twenty stacks. Though, if it fills with six thousand science, that's... 30 stacks. Thing is full of junk. But that's still fine. We have like 70 stacks open. How many times do I want to crash test? Yeah, I, I assume there will be some figuring out of the space platform. But, uh, and then railguns. can be made anywhere, but they need to be made with a cryogenic plant. Okay. I'll probably make them here. And... I mean, I could go for higher quality, but it's... 40 range is 
already a lot. Though, here now here's an interesting thought. I don't know if anyone's ever tried this. Your railguns could be more efficient if they're not just firing all the time, but if you put them on a timer so they only could shoot once every while, and then they wait until there's a cloud of asteroids that have gotten closer, and then they turn on, and then they do their piercing damage through all of the asteroids, whereas otherwise they're just shooting the first asteroid that comes into range, and then they're not dealing a ton of that piercing damage. The other thing I don't know is if, even though the range is 40, does the projectile carry on past that? Therefore, you always get some distance of pierce or not. I do not know. Um, but yeah, we definitely want to produce a bunch of these real gun ammo pieces up in space. But we'll have to figure that out. Um, I didn't know ammo category was a thing in Factoriopedia that you can see. We've already done explosives in space for rockets, so really we just need the copper and steel, aka more foundry shenanigans. So this isn't going to be too bad. Okay, so... Synthers is here. Let's drop down. What was I going to drop down? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The bots. The robo ports and logistics bots and construction bots. And then we need to get rid of the crappy bots. So. Mm, storage. Inserters, heat, um, alright, well, ditch that idea, and then you request all of these guys, and that should get rid of all the normies. Wait, before we get rid of all the normies, we need to have He's requested to. Uh oh. Did I screw things up? Can the last bot put itself in the <laughs> in the thing that's requested it and then be removed? Or or will this figure itself out? I think we might be okay. I might need to rotate that. Commons, just help things out a little bit. Also, that behavior you just saw is something I'm hoping they patch up pretty well, which is just some weirdnesses with bot charging. I've seen quite a few Reddit posts at this point. See, there's some weirdnesses with that for sure. Um, what's going on here? Anybody know? These are requested. These definitely have robots. And they're not getting delivered. Oh, uh, sorry. I get it. You guys are probably hitting enter right as I understood. It needs to be like this. They need to be put into the network. Um, not because that's only requesting active bots that will show up. It won't actually request item bots that then become real bots. These are fake bots that we're talking about here. <laughs> I'm a real bot. Um, yeah, the bots just want to be real. And this is how this is how a bot is made real. There we go. So then we can turn this back on. That's gonna put all the rares into the system. And then this is gonna request the normies that are active, which will then be deactivated by doing that. You can put the request in the top slot. Oh, like you can do with an inventory. Right, and that's like a manual delivery. I always forget about that. That's a remote view thing that you can do. Okay. 
so now this should have the effect of getting rid of all the non the non rare bots I'm gonna reduce that down to 10 because they're getting they're getting too jammed up there kind of mesmerizing though all right sweet Okay, uh, that's working. Um, we need to make, let's see, wait, back to fusion stuff. To make fusion stuff, we have to make it on Aquilo. We need tungsten. I need to make the quantum processors. Those need all the pieces, the three planet things, and then stuff we already have. So that's pretty easy. With the synthus, the synthus has already got carbide, fiber, uh, okay, 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 cool, cool. Then, I would like to figure out... Hmm. Like, I want to extend... having a problem here with this oil. I'm trying to figure out the best way to fix that problem. Um, that might do it. That depower anything? I don't think so. Yeah, that's good. Let's see, I can do this. Okay. Gets a little more storage there, way. Right? There. Ah! That way. And now I can just plop more of these, you know, extra other other planet pieces that we've brought, along with some more processing units, carbide, fiber, and what's the third thing? Carbide, fiber, what's the other planet? Vulcanus, Gleba, Fulgora, superconductors, there we go. And rocket fuel. Okay, so we'll send this back to Nauvis, and then, yeah, I think this is probably a good place to wrap up the episode. Um, wow, there's just so much to do now. We gotta do fusion power, and we gotta get rail guns, and we gotta build a whole new space platform. So we'll be starting that in the next episode. We're kind of on the, the road to the end of the, or the edge of the space system. So that is nice. Okay, we got plenty of uncommons now. Sweet. Okay, well, we will call that an episode. This is the legendary episode, of course. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see kind of what we can do with the, the space ship, space station, kind of both uh, in the next episode. But for those of you from the future, as always, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and I'll see you all in the next episode.